Hey guys, Amy Star Allen here, and in this video, I'm just going to show you really quickly how to add Facebook comments underneath a video on any of your pages where you might be streaming a live event or where you have a video on a page where you want people to be able to interact. It's super easy to do using the Facebook comments plugin, so let me show you how it's done. So just to show you what this looks like real quick, I recently did an event where I have a page and I'm going to show you all of this, but I just, you know, I built a quick page to stream a live training on and I had underneath, I had a place where people could interact and leave questions and comments as I was doing my training and you can click here to load more. So the um, process that I'm going to show you, you'll get to choose how many comments at a time you want to show up here. And then for any that aren't showing up, you can click to load more. So you might not want this many. Um, streaming down your page or you might want, want more that's up to you and then you know I have all this other stuff on this page as well because I built this page using a really cool template and I'll show you that as well in a second but um, anyway I just wanted you to see what this Facebook comments plugin looks like in on a page and then I'm going to show you how to add it to your pages so I build all of my pages and funnels and everything inside of my favorite tool which is called the HBA funnel builder and I actually have a whole playlist on my YouTube channel with over 90 videos about all the cool stuff you can do with this builder. So if you're interested in that, you can check out that playlist and I will leave a link under the video as well with some more information about this tool. But let me just show you how I built this page. So this is the page that I just showed you. And I built this page using a template. We have lots of really great templates inside of our funnel builder. And I've actually donated a bunch of my own pages to the funnel builder. So anybody that uses the funnel builder can use my templates as well. But um, my friend Matthew Martin is really, really good at building pages and he has some beautiful templates back there that we can use. So this page is built using one of his templates. So let me just show you really quick um, where I got the template and then I'll show you how to add the Facebook comments to it. So anytime we wanna add a new page in our funnel builder, we just click add new step page. And then over here, you're gonna see all these templates. Like you'll see my name here and in here, you'll see all of these templates that I've donated to the funnel builder including my quiz and you know just all the different um, lead magnets that that I personally use my links page everything that's all in here under my name you'll see it says template club these are Matthew Martin's templates and there are some absolutely gorgeous templates in in here that we can use for anything that we want and so I was looking for a page to do a live stream and I selected this page so you can see what this page looks like and you'll notice it looks just like the page that I showed you, except the colors are different and the video is different and the headline is different. So I just, I just customized this for myself. So I just loaded into my funnel builder and here it is ready to be edited, right? So all I had to do was come in here and change everything out to my brand. Like you'll see my page. I have a, I have a different headline than the headline that's on this page. So I just needed to come in and change out the headline um, put a new video link in here and I made the button my my brand colors you'll see it's the same button I just made it a little bit bigger and changed the colors so I'll just show you an example of how easy this is so if I click on the button and click on styling and see where it says great it has a gradient so if I come to gradient settings and I change these colors to two of my colors. And this funnel builder allows us to load our brand colors in. So they're just always right here at the top, which makes it really easy. And now you'll see the button is my brand colors. And then if you want to make it bigger, you can do that as well. Like I can make the, the text bigger or whatever you want to do to the button. These templates are super easy to edit. So I just came in and edited the text. You know, I changed this text out to my text. I changed this color out to my color and I just went through and did that throughout the template to make it look like this all right so it only took me a couple minutes to go ahead and and customize it I didn't even change this background you'll see the background is exactly the same all I did was change anywhere this blue was I put in my pink that's my brand color and other than that and I changed the, the button out here made the buttons go where I want them to go and then this template is ready to use but the only thing is it doesn't have a place for people to leave comments below the video. So I wanted to add that. So let me show you real quick how I did that. So you'll see on my page, like I said, I have these Facebook comments here 
which are not on this template. So all I had to do in order to add the Facebook comments was go to what's called the Facebook comments plugin, which looks like this. And I will leave a link to this below the video as well. I am not an affiliate or there's, this is free. It's not, there's no affiliate program or anything like that, but I'll leave the link below this video just so that you can easily access it. And this is really cool because it's so easy to do. All you do is you come to this page, you put in the URL that you want your comments to be on, how wide you want your comment box to be, and the number of posts that you want to show. Remember I showed you how I have a whole stream of posts. The default is five, so maybe you just wanna limit it to show only five at a time so that you don't have this big long stream. It's up to you. I like having the longer stream. When I'm doing a live stream, I like to just see all the comments, as many of them as I can at once. It makes it easier for me, but it's up to you. And then once you do that, you can get your code. So for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna use this demo page to show you how this is done. So if I click on this link, it's I can copy, this is the link of my actual page. So I can copy this link and I would just put it in here for the URL to comment on. The width, I usually do 800 pixels and you know it's gonna show you what it's gonna look like here. Um, but you can do it wider if you want. And then I'll just leave this at five, the number of posts five. But like I said, if you want 10 or 20 or however many you want to show, you can put that here. And then you just click get code. And when you click get code, it's gonna give you these codes. So all I do is I copy the code and then I'm gonna grab a code widget inside of the funnel builder. and drag it down to where I want it. And I'm gonna paste the code in here. And I'm gonna grab this other code as well. Paste that in there. Click Save, Preview. And now you'll see it's got this comment box, but I don't want it on this black background. I want it on a white background and I wanna put, like on mine, you'll see I have it on, on the, in, the, in the white block, but I also have, um, a title here so if I want to put a title there let me show you how to do that so I'm just gonna add an empty block and I'm gonna drag this down into the empty block with a white background and then all I'm gonna do is I am going to add a heading I'm gonna put that above it and I'm gonna say type your questions and comments here whoops And I'm gonna change the font of this. I'll try to make it look like it does on the other one. I had the caveat font. I'm gonna center it and I'm gonna make it my brand color. I think I made it bold as well. So let's bold it. Okay, and then this code, um, I don't know if you noticed when I showed it to you, was off to the left. So I'm gonna center this code. So I'm just gonna click on edit code. This is how you can center something. You just put some code in here that says this code it's the opening brackets center and then at the very end of the code you put it again with a closing bracket I can leave that code below the video for you as well and now if I save it and preview it it should be centered there you go so now it has the comments box and it has a place to for people to leave comments and I can do a test. There it is. And that's how easy it is to add a comment section to your live stream page. And again, this page looks kind of weird because it's a half edited template, but I just wanted to show you how easy this is to do. One thing I didn't show you that I just want to show you how easy it is to do is how to change out the video on the page. So what I did was I scheduled a live. This live has now already happened, but at the time you can schedule a live for the future. So I had a live scheduled for the future on YouTube. And then all you have to do is grab the link for the live, get shareable link. It says link copied to clipboard. And then when I come into this template, if I go edit video, all I'm gonna do is change out this link with my link and then see how this says edit custom thumbnail. I wanna get rid of that. And then my video just shows up on the page. So that's how easy it is to change out the video. 
And then what's cool is when I go live, um, the video, when I go live on YouTube, even if you're doing it through StreamYard or whatever, when you go live, it'll automatically go live on this page. And then the other cool thing about it is that when you're done, you the, the replay will automatically be up on the page. So before I went live, I had it on a page that said live on July 19th at 7 p.m. Eastern, and it looked like this. And then after I was done, I just left the, um, the, vi the replay there and I changed it out so that it said exclusive live training replay. And then I created a, an opt-in page that matches it so that I can generate leads for people that want access to the replay. And then I have access to this page available with all of my other resources. As you can see, this is my resources page and I've got all these different resources. And so I just added a link to it at the very top of my resources here. So how I sponsored over 70 people in under four months and when people go here, they can opt in. And once they opt in, they get taken to this replay page. So it's really fun to have a live stream on one of these pages because then the replay stays there and then you can continue to market the page and market the training and generate leads and sales for your business by you know creating a page like this so super super simple to do so there you have it if you have any questions let me know if you want more information about how to use our funnel builder with all of these incredible templates and all the other cool things that you can do with this funnel builder again i have over 90 videos on my youtube playlist about this specific funnel builder it's only 25 dollars a month you can build membership sites you can do live streams like this you can build out replicating pages for your team to use if you're in a network marketing company there's so many cool things you can do with it so i recommend that you check out my playlist for some ideas of some different really cool ideas of things that you can do with it we can even allow people to schedule appointments with us online for example, when somebody wants to be on my podcast, I send them a link to this page where they can come in here and they can book an interview with me and it shows them my schedule and what times I'm available and they can pick their time, they can pick their their day, their time, and then they can they can just book it through this link. And I have different ways that people can book appointments with me for different things like a business consultation, a, if they just have a question and they wanna do like a 15 minute call with me, whatever, like I have different ways that types of appointments that people can book this funnel builder just does it all so anyway i love it love it love it and i hope this makes sense as far as how easy it is to add facebook comments to any funnel builder page let me know if you have any questions and i'll see you in the next video